Hi, the times taken to play Beethoven's Sixth Symphony can be assumed to have a normal distribution with mean 41.1 minutes and standard deviations 3.4 minutes. Three occasions on which this symphony is played are, are chosen at random. Find the probability that the symphony takes longer than 42 minutes to play on exactly one of these occasions. Okay, it follows that the time taken to play um, Beethoven's symphony it follows the normal distribution with mean 41.1 and standard deviation 3.4. We need to find the time uh, that's going to take more than 42 minutes on exactly on one of the three occasions. Alright, so therefore we're going to say um, the probability that t is greater than 42 will be exactly the same as the probability of z by standardizing greater than 42 minus the mean mu, which is 41.1, over the standard deviation, 3.4. So, let's work this out in our calculator. So, 42, well, so 42 minus 41.1, and all divided by 3.4. So, 0 0.264. Let's just say 0 0.2647. Alright, okay, that's good. Therefore, this is going to be um, positive. All right, so it's greater anyway. So we've got then probability of Z being greater than 0 0.26, all right, 47, as we found in our calculator. If it's greater, all right, therefore we're going to take 1 minus the phi of 0 0.2647 okay so that's basically 1 minus 0 0.2647 let's take a look 0 0.26 okay 4 7 4 let's say it's about 15 so that's going to be 0 0.6026 plus 15 so 0 0.6041 all right so it's 0 0.6041 or something. 0 0.6041. And it's going to give us 0 0.395. All right. So therefore, the answer is, before we do that, 0 0.395. Now, um, is this all right? So check it out properly 0 0.264 0 0.265 0 0.26 and I've got 5 is 19 oh sorry about that so 0 0.6026 plus 0 0.0019 is 0 0.645 so 0 0.645 if you do that you're going to get 0 0.3955 on exactly one of the three occasions is a binomial distribution so 3C1 that is going to be played on exactly one occasion is the probability is 0 0.3955 one occasion and on the other two occasions not going to be played so 0 0.1 minus 0 0.3955 okay so 1 minus okay it's going to be 0 0.6045 okay and um, 0 0.6045 to the square Okay, 0 0.6045 to the square times 0 0.3955 times uh, 3C1. And that's going to be 0 0.4335. Okay, so let us say then 0 0.434. And here is the answer. Now, for the second part, the times taken to play Beethoven's fifth symphony can also be assumed to have a normal distribution. The probability that the time is less than 26.5 minutes is 0 0.1 and the probability that the time is more than 34.6 minutes is 0 0.05. Find the mean and standard deviation of the times to play this symphony. So remember we have two probabilities. The time taken is less than 26.5 and that is going to be 0 0.1. So here is the um, 
okay, situation. All right, and the time that it's going to take to play. All right, um, less than first time is less than 26.5. So let me just copy the information first. Okay, so we got then uh, probability that x is going to be less than 26.5, and we have another situation probability of let us say x being and this one is going to be 0 0.1 and uh, more than 34.6 is going to be um, 0 0.05 okay so let's do it now here's the information let's just define it as x follows a normal distribution with mean mu and standard deviation and this is the situation it takes less than 26.5 minutes and the probability is going to be 0 0.1 if it takes more than 34.6 minutes the probability will be 0 0.05 we need to find this the mean and the standard deviation so we're going to standardize this therefore p of z being less than 26.5 minus the mean mu all right divide by the standard deviation standard deviation is sigma and for this one we are going to say p of z being greater than 34.6 okay minus the mean mu over the standard deviation and for that one it's going to be 0 0.05 now clearly speaking this is if this is the mean mu and this one is greater this one is less so we have a situation where we have positive and negative okay so for this one here um, I might take it as um, and that's going to be 0 0.1 anyway so what are we going to do uh, it is less anyway but this is the mean might be greater than than this time here then we're going to end up with a plus or minus situation so minus so therefore I'm going to say um, the xi of 26.5 minus the mean mu okay over the standard deviation is going to be 0 0.1 okay and um, so 26.5 minus the mean mu over the standard deviation is called to inverse of 0 0.1 but is it possible 0 0.1 with okay um, if we have the inverse of 0 0.5 not possible so I'm going to say 1 minus so that's going to be the inverse die of 0 0.1 minus 1 is uh, 0 0.9 okay so we're going to take then 0 0.9 okay so what is 0 0.9 it is uh, 1.282 so 1.282 so the equation is going to be then 26.5 okay minus the mean mu over the standard deviation is equal to minus 1.282 okay similarly we're going to be doing for this one as well Okay, and this is um, basically greater. Okay, um, right. So 0 0.05, that's not possible as well. So we're going to say 1 minus xi of 34.6 minus the mean mu over the standard deviation okay, is equal to 0 0.05. 0 0.05 minus this is going to be 0 0.95. Okay, and 0. 9.5. So I'm going to then say a xi of 34.6 minus the mean mu over the standard deviation. If we check this out on your probability distribution table, okay, 0. Point, so 0 0.05 minus 1 is 0 0.95. Okay, so 0. Point, okay, it's equal to 0. 0.95. So then 34.6 minus the mean mu over the standard deviation is equal to for 0 0.95 it is um, 1.65. Alright, so this is 1.65.
1.645 sorry okay so here's the second equation here's our first equation we're going to solve these two equations simultaneously so we can go further by uh, doing the algebra so 26.5 minus mean mu is equal to this times this is going to be minus 1.282 sigma and uh, where can we go from here and this one as well is going to be 34.6 minus mean mu is equal to 1.645 sigma <coughs> okay we can take any one of these two all right and replace in here so what if i uh, say 26.5 minus I mean plus 1.282 sigma is equal to mu you go on the other side and you take this you substitute in the first in the second equation all right so we're going to do this now 34.6 all right minus mu and mu is all this 26.5 plus 1.282 26.5 plus 1.282 sigma is equal to all right um, so we're going to minus this whole thing here okay and uh, 36.4 minus the mean mu minus all of that is equal to 1.645 sigma so let us solve 34.6 minus 26.5 is going to give us 8.1 got 8.1 it's going to now this goes on the other side it is minus it becomes plus there so i got then 1.645 so 1.645 plus uh, 1.282 1.282 2.927 so 2.927 sigma and sigma is going to be then 8.1 divided by this 8.1 divided by the answer which is then 2.76 or 2.77 right 2.77 so we got the standard deviation as 2. 77 seven, here we are we need to find mu so mu can be found as this here we are already found that mu was uh, 26.5 minus 1.82 1 1.282 sigma so that's going to be 26.5 minus 1.282 Okay, sorry, it is plus, isn't it? It should be plus. Plus 1.282 times 2.77. That's uh, sigma. So that's going to give us how much? 26.5 plus brackets 1.282 times 2.77. That's going to give us 30. Okay, so the 30.05. 114 and so on. Therefore, clearly speaking, um, we got to the mu as 30.0. Here we are. This question is done for the second part. <coughs> now, for the third part, assuming that the times to play the two symphonies are independent of each other, find the probability that both symphonies are played. When both symphonies are played, both of the times are less than 34.6 minutes. Okay, what is uh, the first scenario? Okay, in the first scenario, we're going to be taking... Um, this is the first symphony. This is the mean, uh, standard deviation, uh, sorry, the mean and standard deviation. We're going to be using this one. It should take less than 34.6 minutes as stipulated by the question. Okay. Therefore, what are we going to do? Let us call the symphony um, probability that uh, symphony 6, okay, 
will take less than 34.6 minutes okay is going to be then P of Z being less than 34.6 minus the standard deviation I'm oh, sorry minus the mean mu the mean mu was uh, 41 isn't it yeah we told it's uh, 41.1 and standard deviation 3.4 41.1 over the standard deviation 3.4 let's work this out 34.6 minus 41.1 divided by the standard deviation 3.4 minus 1.9117 let's just say P of Z being less than minus 1.912 uh, and what is that from our table it's going to be 1 minus the psi of 1.912. So 1.912, if we look at it carefully, 1.9, okay, 1. sorry, 1.9 is here. Okay, 1.9, 1, and then 2. Okay, it's going to give us, so point, okay, 1. 0 uh, 1.9 hold on a second 1.912 is that all right okay 1.9 1 and then I have 2 0 0.97 20 0 0.9720 so I've got then 1 minus 0 0.9720 and that's going to give us um, 0 0.0280. That's the probability that it will take less than 34 minutes, 34.6 minutes to play Symphony 6. What about playing Symphony Symphony 5? Okay, probability of playing Symphony 5 less than 34.6 minutes. It's going to be exactly the same as P of Z being less than 34.6 minus the mean 30 which we just found over the standard deviation 2.77 so that's going to be then 30 minus this and we have got then 34.6 minus 30 okay divided by 2.77 1.66 all right so 1.661 Okay. What is 1.661? Let's take a look here. 1.66 and then 1. So 0 0.9516. It's going to give us 0 0.9516. We are told that these two events are independent independent therefore we're going to take the product of these probabilities probability that S1 I mean S6 and S5 Symphony 6 and Symphony 5 will take less than 34 minutes since they were independent of each other I mean they can happen on their own it's going to be 0 0.0280 multiplied by 0 0.95 okay so 0.028 times um, 0 0.95 0 0.266 0 0.20 0 0.0266 okay so this is your answer 0 0.0266 here we are for the third part of the question taken from June 2012 advanced level maths S1 statistics one.